Hello, I'm Dr. Rajesh Khanna. Welcome to the debut episode of Medical Magic on FirstRun.TV. Every year there are new breakthroughs taking place in the world of medicine. Breakthroughs that fight disease, improve the quality of lives, or that simply let us live longer. Some of the advances make the news headlines and others you might not even hear about. Headlines or not, the medical progress is equally significant. In this series, we are going to show you many of the new breakthroughs along with the doctors who are using them to help their patients. And we'll get to know the patients as well. Whether it's a new drug treatment, examination technique or surgery, we'll find out how the patient's lives are being changed and improved. My medical specialty is LASIK and refractive surgery. In short, I help people restore and improve their vision. In the first couple of episodes of Medical Magic, I'll be showing you some of the amazing new developments in my field of medicine. Advances that can help people with blinding cataracts see 2020 vision again, all without the need to wear glasses. Welcome to Medical Magic. Hi, I'm Butch Patrick, and you might remember me as Eddie Munster from the classic TV show The Munsters. Uh, myself, like a lot of baby boomers, are having trouble with their vision. Uh, middle age, I'm about ready to turn 60, but actually, when I turned 40, my eyesight started going, as a lot of us do. I'm going to see Dr. Khanna here, Dr. Rajesh Khanna with Khanna Vision. I've been told he's the best, and he's going to take a look at my eyes, and hopefully uh, restore my vision back to what it used to be without having to wear glasses or contacts or anything like that. So let's go in and see what the doctor can do. Hi Butch, I'm Pam, I'm Dr. Connor's surgical assistant here and I'll be assisting in all your clinical work up today. So let's check your vision, cover your left eye there. Okay, E, C, B, D, L, N, shoosh, um, something T, and that's all right. That's well, yeah, like, we'll stop there. Yeah, that, that's, that's about as far as I can go. Looks about 2060. I, I'm pretty sure you'll be happy with what we can deliver for you. Okay, Butch, I'm going to do a couple pictures of your eye. This is a corneal topography, a detailed map of the outer surface of your eye. Okay. So what I need you to do is place your chin on the chin rest here. Yep. Make sure your forehead touches the bar up top. And I'm going to start by taking a photo of your right eye first. Okay, okay here I we see go. see red light. There you go. You're going to give me a good stare at that red light. You're going to blink and open as wide as you can and hold it. Perfect. You're going to switch over to your right arrow now. Okay. And you're going to do the same thing with your forehead against the bar. Yep. Okay. Blink again and open wide. And hold it. Perfect. You can go ahead and sit back. Okay. I'm going to take a look at these images. Make sure they came out okay. Cool. Okay, Butch, this is the second set of photos that we're going to do. You're going to place your chin on the chin rest there. Make sure your forehead touches the bar up top. Yep. You're going to see a little house I do. inside there. It's going to go in and out of focus. That's perfectly normal. Just give me a good stare at that house. Perfect. And left eye now. Same thing. Go ahead and give me a good stare. Perfect. You can go ahead and sit back. We're all done. Okay, Butch, you can come on in. Go ahead and have a seat, and Dr. Kana will be right with you, okay? Okay, thank you, Desi. Thank you. Hi, Butch. Good morning. I'm Dr. Kana. It's a pleasure to have you here. Well, thank you, Dr. Kana. Nice to meet you. Same here. I hear you have some vision problems in your <laughs> right eye. Yeah, it's uh, at night. It's just circles and stigmatisms, and it's like a you know, it's like the '60s are going on in my eyeballs. You mentioned the 60s. I think that's when you had your show, I hear. Yeah, as a matter of fact, yeah, back in the black and white era, 64 and 65. You familiar with the Munsters? I am, but I never got to watch them. I was too young. Oh, now you're dating me. Okay, well, thank you so much. Yes, I'm old, I was... That's why my eyes are going. I'm old. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so uh, between the comparing the two eyes, you feel the right eye doesn't see much at all? Well, I had LASIK done on this eye years ago, and it seemed to work pretty well, but this right eye has become almost non-usable at night for sure and I have to read, I have to pr bring up text pretty close almost to my eyelid. Yeah, from our testing what my text did it uh, just now shows you have very poor vision in the right eye yeah. and as you know it looks like you have a cataract in your right eye. That's what they said, yeah. So now what cataract is derived from a Greek word meaning waterfall. 
So what it means in your natural lens, water enters mm -hmm. and changes the color and obstructs light from entering your eye. Oh, okay. So uh, what we have to do is make an opening in the back of the lens, remove the contents, clean and polish everything out, and put a new inert biocompatible lens. Does that hurt? Only if you want it to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to. Yeah. Do, you have yeah. to knock, do you have to knock me out or anything? Oh, we don't. I talk to you throughout. If you have pain, we can modulate the pain by giving you some oral medications. Mm -hmm. And if you're very scared, we can give IV medication. But the whole experience is going to be pain-free, quick, like five to seven minutes per eye. And yeah. in your case, we're just going to do the right eye first. Well, I'm sure I'll be okay. I have a fairly high tolerance for pain, so I'm sure we'll be okay. And then when it comes to the choice of putting in implants, you're lucky that we are in, the, in this century and not in the 60s. Yeah. Because in the 60s, we could not even put implants, so afterwards you wore thick glasses. And then in the 90s, implants became popular. Yeah. Now these are different implants than what women have. Okay. So these are uh, synthetic. I'll show you a couple of models. Uh, these are the three FDA-approved models. This is called the Crystal Lens. And this is the Technis, and this is the Restore. Oh. So each one has its own advantages and disadvantages. For example, with Crystal Lens, the lens can move a little bit in the eye, yes. and it can allow you to see far and near without any glare halos. So it duplicates your natural eyeball. Exactly. Wow. But it's not as good as natural, so it mimics it. Mm -hmm. And the last remaining add for reading might not come. Okay. And that's why we have the other option of, let's say, Technis lens, which gives you distance middle. But you see all these rings it has? Mm -hmm. That helps in giving distance and near, but it causes some glare. Okay. And then we have the third compromise between both two. It's yellow, so it cuts off the glare. Right. It has fewer rings in the center allows you to three or see all three distances. So you just do evaluation and you just make a, a, a professional judgment on what I should get? More than a professional, I also ask you for your personal lifestyle, what you do so to understand uh, what will be best for you. Okay. So well, are you still acting uh, in... Occasionally, occasionally. I don't go on the uh, audition process, but people do ask me to, to be involved in their productions occasionally, so once in a while. So yeah. you need to read scripts yeah. and see far? Yeah. Uh, what about hobbies? Yeah, you know, uh, hit some golf balls, play a little tennis, uh, just Any hiking. Biking or riding? Yeah, I have a motorcycle. I ride a Harley, so yeah. So you need to be seeing at all distances. That would right? be helpful on a bike, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Especially but, on a bike. <laughs> on a bike, right. Do you drive at night a lot? Yes. So right now when you can't see out of your right eye, are you, do you feel safe in driving? No, not at all. No, okay, so very whatever concerned. we do... Very concerned about that especially. Especially, that's it. So whatever we do, will make it safer for you. Sure. Now, just listening to what I was saying between the three choices, what would be your natural gut? I think the first one. Uh, the one where this you one, want, No, this one. The crystal lens? The one that kind of flexes it, that goes with the... Uh, which will lets you see far. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. only caveat in that is, you know, for reading scripts, yeah. Well, you know, I, if, as long as I can just read, the scripts aren't really tiny print. They're reasonably large print. So, um, but, you know, then again, I, I, I don't really know. I suppose if they would all work. I don't think the yellow one, I don't, I'm not concerned about that one. It would be between those other two. Okay. Um, so maybe what we'll do is, you know, to come at a better evaluation, I, what we normally do is we give you a questionnaire. Okay. We'll let you fill all that. And then I'll reanalyze based on my exam of mm -hmm. your eye, which we'll do on slit lamp. I'm going to look at your macula very carefully and based on how, what questions you answer for specific lifestyle mm -hmm. questionnaires, uh, I'll assimilate and use my professional judgment with my past experience of thousands of eyes, including operating on my mom, and see what will work best for you. You operate on your mom? Yes. Well, then he must be okay. <laughs> well, hey, no problem. Let's Thank get to you. it. Butch, I want to check your vision one more time. So can you close your left eye for me with this? Can you see the letter in the mirror? Uh, I can see the big H, E. <laughs> yeah, it's an E. And uh, kind of a, blue, it might be an E, but it's, it's, it's undistinguishable. So pretty bad. I can, like, can't even get to the same line. You're only 2400. You can oh, just geez. see the top of the chart and you're missing all the other letters. Pretty much, yeah. Now it's, it's, a blur. A, it's all a blur. Blur. So it's our hope to get you down to the bottom 
line in the chart which is 2020. Wow, you got a monster of a carrot. No yeah. pun intended. Look at my ear here, wonderful. Cornea is good, but your lens is pretty thick. I don't know how you see because I can barely see through that monster of a cataract. Wow, it's so yeah. white and milky. It's a mess. But good, I can see your disc, your blood vessels, and yes, your macula looks good. Good. Now I'll just look at the periphery of your eye to make sure there's no retina surprises like tears or holes. Good. Look to your right for me now. Wonderful. That looks good. Look down. That's nice. Look to your left, please, now. Good. No tears, no holes, no detachments. I'm happy. You look like a wonderful candidate. Awesome. Great. And I reviewed all your question and answers, you know, based on your lifestyle. And I think the best fit for you would be a restore lens. I think the lens which will let you see far, middle, and near would be the best for you. So, Butch, how are you feeling? I'm feeling just fine, ready you, to go. Are you more relaxed than when you came in? Yes. Looks like the pill is working. Very so, much. I'm going to put this um, drape around your eyes to maintain a sterile area. Okay. And it's going to cover your nose. But don't worry, we have oxygen for you under there. And it's from Belgium this time. Ah, very good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, it's going to cover you all your, around your eye. And then I'm going to protect your lashes with the Tegaderm here. Uh, there it is. And to prevent you from blinking, we're going to put an eye retainer, okay. which sits there. Yes. Just look up for me. Good. Now look down. That's good. So it'll sit in there. It's not hurting you, is it? No. Good. Good. So Pam, we're all ready to begin then. All right. Here we come with the scope. Good. Keep looking at the light. You're doing wonderful. Blade. Yeah. There. Good. Look a little to the right. That's good. Atta boy. Smaller ones. Yes. Now, we. this part is very important, so don't make any sudden movements. This is where I'm going to make a circular opening in the middle of your lens bag. Looks like you rehearsed this pretty often, huh? <laughs> Good. Now we're going to start the main process and you'll hear some funny sounds. Okay. Okay, Butch, now is the interesting part. The lens is all out, the old dysfunctional lens. We've broken it up and taken it out. And now we're going to restore your vision with the new restore lens. So I'll need your little cooperation here. Are you awake? Yes. Good. So you'll feel a little pressure as the lens enters your eye because I want to be able to put it through the smallest opening possible. The lens has been folded for that purpose. Okay. Look to the left a little bit. Good. Now look to the right. Do you feel that pressure? Yes. Good, good. Don't give up. Keep looking to the right. The lens is going in. It's almost in. Yeah, it's in. Good. Now, now you can start looking at the light again while I dial the lens in place and okay. position it where it's going to sit for the rest of your life. All Wonderful. Right. Do you see that light? I do. Look at that so I can center the lens. Wonderful. Can you see the light now? Is it better than before? It's much better. Good. And let me make sure all the openings are watertight. Yes, they are. And yes, we are done. So Butch, this part is going to be tougher than the surgery. Mm -hmm. They told me you need a free derm abrasion, so we arranged it, okay? okay. So as I take the uh, drape off, you'll feel a little burning and stinging. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, there we did it. Now, Woo. you can see, right? It's not hurting. No. We're going to put some drops in your eyes outside, transfer you to the recovery room. Okay. And then I'll see you before you go home. That's it, huh? Yes, that's it. Amazing. Hi, Butch. How are you doing? Fine. You? Good. How's your vision? Much better. Much better. Wonderful. Any pain? No. Perfect. Well, let's check your vision. Okay. All right. You're going to go ahead and read the lowest line that you can read there. Uh, O-F-L-S-T-P is the one right almost to the bottom. And then the bottom one, I believe, is A-F-E... G-R-F-C-Z or O-Z? That's pretty good. <laughs> That's just about 2020. That's awesome. Okay, Butch, we're going to do the same test that we did before the procedure. Okay. 
just to take a look and see how it's going. So go ahead and place your chin on the chin as to the left. Make sure your forehead touches the bar up top. Go ahead and give me a blink and open wide. There you go, perfect. Butch, would you mind putting your chin here so I can take a look into your eyes? Wonderful, the cornea is absolutely clear. Not and just minimum flare, no inflammation. The restore lens is beautifully centered right where I would want it to be. And I'm going to get your pressure just to make sure pressure is fine. Let me put it to the blue light. Open your eyes, look towards the E in the chart. And mm, got it. Everything looks fine. I'm very happy. I see you at 2020. Congratulations. You know, the key word is, I see you, and I, <laughs> and I see you right back. It's great. That's I'm good. very excited. Good. Uh, are you able to see everything, like what were you were uh, missing in life before? You know, it's funny. Um, when you, yes, to answer your question, yes, I see perfectly, but I, I didn't know how bad my sight had become because it was a slow process, and now it's like, woohoo, kid in the candy store. I mean, especially the cataracts are all gone, and the circle vision at night, and the colors, and the lights crystal clear I can see things um, oh I don't have to use my reading glasses and it's only been a week and I can see crystal clear did you try riding the more bikes yet I did try riding on my bike I put my goggles on saw through the goggles great nighttime vision was perfect the headlights were just headlights not big circles of you know kaleidoscopes and just to recapitulate what we had discussed before because you were afraid of pain did you have any pain during the procedure no not at all no pain whatsoever it was very it was just it's amazing that you can do something in that short a period of time that can affect your you know your overall everything especially you know with vision it's amazing everybody should try this i tell you <laughs> everybody should do this <laughs> how soon did your vision come back after the procedure right after right after oh, that's good yeah it was like immediately practically i mean it was a, maybe the next well, it was there immediately but the next day or the day two days later it was you'd forgotten all about having surgery that's amazing. So um, yeah. I uh, hope you're going to carry out your promise of jumping from the aeroplane with your new vision now. Yeah, I plan on it. I was out there the other day. We're making arrangements to do it on my birthday, so we're going to have some fun. And this time I'll be able to see the ground coming up as opposed to having it all being blurry. So let Should me, be good. Let me wish you a happy birthday in advance. Thank then. you, doctor. And when do I have to come back? Oh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks, like three, four weeks. Okay. Just uh, taper the drops down. My assistant will give you a drop schedule all so right. you know how to... Uh, decrease your drops every week mm -hmm. and then we'll see you one more time make sure everything is fine okay. and I know you fly between the East Coast and West Coast so we'll work around your schedule and get you an appointment okay. and I'll tell you something very important too because if you're ever on the East Coast and you have any problem with your eyes you know we are hooked on to Skype and Facebook you can take a picture of your eyes or video chat with us so you're never far away from us oh that's good to know thank you so much This is nice. This actually is medical magic. I can see again. This is pretty good stuff. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Medical Magic. Of course, the medical breakthroughs we show you are not really magic or hocus pocus. They are all based on science and technology. But for those people whose lives are improved, we can certainly say the results are magical. I'm Dr. Rajesh Khanna. See you next time on Medical Magic here on firstrun.tv